Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have my big sister here with me. This is Larissa. She has been on my channel, not enough actually, but a few times. Um, so we have sat down and we're gonna basically just do our makeup and chit chat and share stories. And that's about that. Like, let's just start. You have your whole makeup bag. I do. Which I did my makeup using the contents of this bag. And I will list that video in the description box below. Okay, so. <laughs> I always start out just by priming everything. Primer. So am I doing this too? Yeah, go oh, for it. All right. I mean, the funny thing is, is I know I have like 10,000 steps. You, you're like quick, you're very quick. I am trying to get better at, at following steppage. Steppage. I don't know, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm actually, steppage. I totally want to use your foundation though, because I love it. I tried it on, it's a cushion foundation from, is it Laneige? It is so good. You dunk on in <laughs> and you get your sponge covered. I actually think I'll have to dig, but I think that there were replacement cushions. Mm -hmm. There usually are. That's really cool. You like you don't have to buy the whole, the whole thing again. All right, so we were chatting last night about embarrassing stories from our childhood. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to think of which ones that we were talking about because we were dying laughing. <gasps> oh, the ice so skating one. The ice skating one. Okay, so mm -hmm. you guys, I grew up being obsessed with dance and singing and I was into ballet. Larissa was an ice skater. So I, of course, like whenever I could, I was like, oh, well, I can be an ice skater too. And I remember there was a free skate, but it was more for professionals, like, or for people that were in classes. It wasn't just like <laughs> idiots like me. <laughs> Whatever, it wasn't, it wasn't a public session. Do you remember what I was wearing though? I was wearing like yellow. All I remember is like bright yellow. Yellow, and I feel like your gloves, were they black or no, red? No, they were yellow because then they Shh. got red. Okay. So when you are figure skating and you do, you know, these big arabesque moves and your foot is in the air. And again, she's just this very fancy, emotional, in the moment, and little, in second cute, grade, by the way. tiny thing. So cute. What is, what's the movie? Okay, Topic. No, Topic. <laughs> Topic. You guys, I literally full on was like leg up. <laughs> My toe pick got caught in a divot and my arms were out and I was not gonna like stop the move. First thing to touch the ice was not my hands, it was my chin. Oh, she was no, so cute. But, was... Okay, so Larissa was so cool and had like all her cool friends at the rink and I insisted on getting up and continuing to skate like nothing was wrong. And so I'm continuing to go like through the rink and like this <laughs> and she pulls me aside and she's like, what happened? And I'm like, what do you mean I fell, I'm fine. She's like, you need to get mom. And I literally had blood like coming down my outfit, which was your outfit, sorry. So the best part though is she walked up and she was like this. No, I'm, I'm totally good. I'm like, I think you hit your chin. No, no. And you know how little kids are. They just are totally like, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna keep skating, ah, you know, <laughs> with her hand right here. And you could just see the blood come through. Oh God. I remember mom came up. I remember, oh, do you remember yeah. the other skater who was like a nurse or something yeah, came mom up? mom was like a nurse. She's like, she could have looked and she's like, um, I think you need to go in and handle that. <laughs> Oh yeah, and you okay. needed a lot of stitches on that. Okay. So I still have a scar underneath here. Funny enough, James has matching scars and like we laughed about that when we first started dating. We're like, hey, we have matching scars. What's your story? But I oh remember like mom bought me a brownie out of like the vending machine. Like, and mm -hmm. she's like, after you get your stitches, you can have this. Oh yeah. I just remember going home with my stitches and be like, Lisa got this brownie. <laughs> She's got this little black like. <laughs> Oh, we got some good stories. Anyone want to know what Tati's absolute favorite thing to do as a child was to drive me crazy? So we had bunk beds. Oh, well, there's just that in general. Like, cause I was the kid that would like flip down on the bunk bed and be like, hey, what you doing? Oh my yeah. gosh. So she was that little sister and she had the top bunk, which was fine with me. But what she would do is she's got this obsession with spicy food. And you don't. <laughs> and I am, a, so all the girls, everybody in my family loves spicy food except me. So what she would do is you would find her in the bedroom and gosh, you could just smell the spice. <laughs> no, the you get so that you mad walked. because you had your friends coming over and you're like a teenager and like dating and cool. And you're like, this room stinks. Oh my God, you walk in. Okay, so Tim's jalapeno chips. They are like my family's <laughs> obsession. Like they can take a bag of Tim's jalapeno chips and shake it and know whether it's a good bag or not. That's true. So anyway, we'll that she goes, and We're they like, go, ch -ch 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 -ch. oh, this is a good this one. Is a good this batch. is a good bag. All of that, even my twin sisters do that too. And I'm like, what the hell? 
Like, how do you even know that a bag of chips? Oh, this is a spicy one. <laughs> And then how much air is in the bed? It's there's a science <laughs> apparently to this. I didn't know that. No, you become an expert when you have like one food. It is like your like your thing. Like you know, like you start to know. It's strange. Anyway, so I would walk in the room, and little Tati is up on her bed, and I wish that I could give a visual of you. You'd be sitting up in the bed with your little bowl of potato chips, <laughs> and her leg crossed, reading an Archie <laughs> comic book. And this was the visual. It was always an Archie comic book <laughs> and a bowl of potato chips. Tim's jalapeno. Not no. just any jalapeno chip. But do you guys, okay, the really funny thing though, I still keep like on hand, like maybe five Archies on hand at all times. And if I get super, super stressed out and mm -hmm. I need just like an escape, my like junk food relax thing is to read comics and eat jalapeno chips. Well, still to this day, my favorite thing to do when I know that Tati's just having a, a bad day or a rough time or just needs something special, I will go through the checkout line and find a couple Archie comics. Yes. I've been known to send them once or twice. Yes. They're just kind of it's fun. Thing. Oh, I've told this story so many times on my channel, oh boy. but you were actually there. Do you remember when we went to the Makeup Forever counter? and mom let us pick like two items and like, I don't know if she got like a bonus or something cause we were not like, we all lived in a tiny apartment and we didn't have a lot, but I was obsessed with makeup and you were like, you know, getting mm -hmm. into it like high school and whatever. Mm -hmm. And we got to go to the Makeup Forever counter. Oh my gosh, it was and such a big deal. Like the night before I had put glitter nail polish on my eyelashes. <laughs> oh sh! You remember that, right? Yeah. And she couldn't get it off. And she's like, what did you put on your, your lashes? And I'm like. A beauty innovator from the beginning. Right? No. <laughs> but yes. don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> it's a terrible do idea. That. Yeah, but you, she was there. You, you've, oh, you've, always been, <laughs> just, you've always been really creative. Let's use that word. No. Very creative. I remember we got in like a throw down fight mm. because I wanted to tuck my shirt into my pants and not like pull it out a little bit. And you thought that was really embarrassing. Guys. So I, I was like, You're like the, you can't hang out with my friends. I was, I was like the weirdo perfectionist that like when I do a poof in my head, oh my god, it has it's, to be like spend... perfect. I just had a. Weird we have thing to with find that. a picture of the poof though. She'd have this like perfect like it would be like this clip and it'd be like. So you do this. Oh right? my god, you go we're like so this. good at it. And then if somebody were to mess with the poof, they're done. Ugh. Like if I was being weird with fashion or whatever, and you're a teenager and there's enough of an age gap that you were like, you look dumb, like fix that, you know? <laughs> and like looking back, I'm like, wow, I should have listened. I really should. I look at Sun Valley photos and I'm like, what? She was an original. Oh, thanks. Always, always have been. And then at some point you totally dove in and I started looking to you. Oh. Cause I got uncool. <laughs> <laughs> not, that is not even true. Well, That's not even true. No, no, but it's pretty cool because she continued on that path. No, you guys don't even understand. So Larissa was a teen model. She was in some of the teen magazines. She did modeling in Seattle and fashion shows. And you were like, you had your moment. I where, had a few. I had a few good where moments. Where I would just watch her get ready and I would just be like that creep, like in the corner. Like I would just watch her put like rollers in her hair and do her makeup and then she'd leave and then I'd like dig through all this stuff. <laughs> so, I, I never really noticed, to right? be honest with you. Oh so gosh. you got away with it pretty good. Yeah, but you were, yeah. I enjoyed all that. I did. There right? was four of us and yeah. we could create our own troupe. I remember. Someone was always up to something. I mean, like you have Eric and Sabrina who ask my mom if they can cut their own bangs while my mom's taking a nap and exhausted because she's a grocery cashier and she's like passed out and tired and like, hey mom, can I cut my own bangs? It's my birthday. Oh, and mom's like, gosh, sure. I remember that. Sure. And they go in full on like dumb and dumber style. Like they just thought they could cut their bangs off right here. And so my mom wakes up from the nap and I'm like, you guys are gonna be in trouble. And then like you walk in and you're like, what have you done? You know, it was always like, it was like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So everybody took a turn and there was mm -hmm. always someone that was up to no good mm -hmm. in some way. Oh my gosh, poor mom. Oh, I have no idea Do you idea ever like just think it. about that? No. The stories are like, endless. It's, yeah. I don't know how she I survived. I really, really don't. Okay, so what we used to do too is we would take these long trips. We have a grandmother who lives in Canada, very specifically. For some reason, I always got the front seat. 
or always got seated closer to the front, yeah, right? You made sure. Of yeah, that. I just kind of there was, you know, there's hierarchy, right? So we would we would be sitting next to each other and maybe the twins behind us, mom and dad in the front and something would go on where we start bickering. Mm -hmm. And mom and dad would go, "You guys quit fighting." And I'd do this. Tati, stop! You're hitting me! And then mm -hmm. I'd turn and smile at you. No, and then what my dad would do, it's like he'd turn around and like give the evil eye, like the dad eye. You too. And he's like, you too. And I'm like, but, uh, no buts. No buts. Mm -hmm. Tati, get in the back of the van. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? And I'd go, she did it again. Yeah, and then I'd, really I'd like cool. lose whatever game or whatever I was playing I with. And I'm like, oh my gosh. That's okay. Shoot. Then I just go in and steal all her stuff. Yeah, and then that happened too. Clothes, makeup, whatever. Oh my God, I really want to tell the one where you were with the babysitter. Was it with the babysitter? When she told you that you, you swore or something and she put you in the corner? She put you in the corner for swearing. And she was like, you owe me a nickel for every oh. time. For every time you swear and you turned around and you said something like, if I give you a dime, can I do it two more times? I was like the most yes. classic yeah. moment. How was that, kid? I was like, that is good stuff. So Let's I see. have baked, I have bronzed. And I think I've kind of done the same thing. I am going to fix your brows. Or I'm going to try to. This is, I have never used this before. We're going to see if it's good. It's oh gosh. By, it's by Terry. Just test it out on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. That just gives you just Perfect. a little, like it just cleans them a little bit. Yep. I like that. I like it. I'm gonna try it too. All right, so you guys, <laughs> I have always had a love affair with heels. Like as we're sitting here, I actually am wearing high heels right now. Mm -hmm. As much as I joke around like, oh, I'm you know, fancy here and wearing my pajamas. Like I have those days too, but I really genuinely love high heels. And I would wear them everywhere to the point that I think you guys were like, really, we're we're going to Blockbuster. Can you just like calm down? <laughs> she really you... was. She I really had, like, would. I had like these leopard print heels that oh, were so my awesome. Gosh, I remember those. They, they were like fantastic. slides. Yeah, they were so heels. great. So Larissa was dropping me off at my friend Eileen's and Eric and Sabrina were also in the car. And they were kind of like doing the nice thing and watching me like walk and knock and make sure someone was home. And you guys were dying laughing to the point that you like would roll down your window so that I could hear you guys laughing because I'm like teetering on this, you know, long driveway and Erica's like, how does she never fall down in those? And you were like, I don't know. She just, she, I've never seen her fall. She never ever falls down <laughs> in those. And for whatever reason, I just like, bam, just like hit the ground and was like laying there in the driveway and you guys were like, Whoa! <laughs> You know? Oh my gosh. I know a good one. When I decided that Michelle and I should use your um, wax removal strips. Oh my gosh. You two got in so much trouble doing stupid crap. I was that kid that I would ask my mom. I'm like, hey mom, uh, can Michelle and I wax our mustaches? And we're in like, we're in like fifth grade. Yes. We're in like fifth grade. We saw that you had this kit and we yeah. were like, oh, that's really cool. And uh, my mom's like, no. And so we're like, okay, whatever. And like we lock ourselves in the bathroom and do it anyway. <laughs> so I had your wax strips and like, I didn't really know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Either did Michelle and we like put it on our lips and tried to peel it off. But when we peeled it off, all the wax stayed behind. <laughs> <laughs> So we were so screwed. We were literally like locked in the bathroom for like an hour, panicking, trying anything. Like we're like scrubbing it. I think at one point Michelle <laughs> took a razor and she oh, was like, trying to get it off. And finally, like I kind of like walked downstairs to mom and I'm like, mom, I don't know how to get this off. <laughs> she comes up and she's like, she takes a blue like vial of oil out of the kit and all you had to do is like rub the oil on and right. it like fell off. And I'm like, oh, dang it, I'm gonna be grounded. So this is making me think of funny Michelle stories too, right? Go for it. And I feel Michelle's like- like the other sister. So whenever we go through some old photos and whatnot, there's these photos that pop up. They're hilarious. I don't know how old you guys were. Remember when you went into like Nordstrom's or something, you guys did a photo shoot? <laughs> I still have those photos. Oh my God, every now and again, they'll just like pop out of nowhere. Photos. So we couldn't afford clothes. <laughs> they're fantastic. Man, they're sultry. So we would you put know? on outfits, like our dream outfits at Nordstrom. And we'd go into the <laughs> fitting room and we'd pretend that like, the, like you know the wall thing that you would hang the clothes on? It's mm -hmm. like, you know, kind of like, has like texture to it. And we'd use that to frame ourselves to like stand in front of it oh and be my like, gosh. Yeah, so there is a stack of photos of both of us. And I mean, we are posing 
hard. Oh my gosh. I mean, if I could even, they're back on the wall, like. Mm hmm I mean, I probably got up on like the, like the seat part of the dressing room to like do like a weird angle. Oh, like, seriously, oh, love. How about our dangerous night in Arizona? <sighs> we made bad choices. <laughs> We made we made bad choices. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Like honestly, I think about having like a girl someday and her being a teenager and being like thought we were really cool. <gasps> yeah. That was a very interesting situation. We met random guys in a mall and decided to take a taxi cab over to their hotel. Neither of us are even like of age at all. Mm -hmm. Like you're 17. Mm -hmm. I'm even younger. Oh yeah. But I was dressed up like I am I am old. Remember the cab you know? driver was like, ladies. Even the cab driver he knew. He was like looking he was out. Like, this he's is like, a bad he's idea. like, I don't think this is a smart idea. Oh, we thought we were just. We thought we were so cool we that we, we got invited good. to this party. I was super innocent, and I was pretending to be older. Don't do that. Let's just say this: we walk into this hotel room out of like our element entirely, yeah. unsupervised. We're supposed to be in our hotel, like not doing anything. Mm -hmm. We don't have parents around, but mm -hmm. we figure it out to hop in a cab anyway. Mm -hmm. And like, there's a guy that thinks I'm cute and there's a guy that thinks you're cute. <sighs> he was and cute. let's just say everybody's older and partying. And like, I saw drugs for the first time in my life, just like, and I was like, uh, uh, this may uh, not be a good idea. <laughs> like, literally, when you're so young that you're like, mom and dad would be so mad. Oh my you know? gosh. But, but, but we we're still alive. We, huh? stu we stuck together and we were smart and we called cabs and we were, you know, we didn't no, end we up did doing not, anything. We did not stay long. We thought the guys were really cute, yeah. but we're like, this is really not like for us. And so we hung out, I think, yeah. for like a couple of hours and then just like we got a little back. uncomfortable and we were like, man, eh, we're good. And we, yeah, that was it. So that it really nothing exciting happened other no. than I think it's bizarre that we decided to just randomly hang so out with these weird. random kind of sleaze bag guys. They kind of came up to us. They were like those weird. Oh, they were selling like it was the hair pamphlets. thing. Yes. It was like the hey for a hundred dollars you get this card and you can have your hair done twenty five times. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. It was one of those scammy things, right? Mm -hmm. So what did you really think when I started my YouTube channel? Like you can be honest. You can be like. Did you see like me posting and kind of go, uh, mm. this is kind of weird. I, you know, to be honest, it was such a, it was such a unfamiliar thing to me that I was like, well, I guess if she thinks that's really cool, that's fine. I mean, it had no, people weren't watching like they are now. I mean, it's just so different what it's mm -hmm. become. And I just thought it was a really neat outlet for you artistically, right? You've always loved makeup. You've always loved beauty. You've always loved clothes. You just found your, your platform for that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, <laughs> just really, I don't know if it makes, makes her happy. Cool. No, I, I remember you know. having the realization one day that like what I was doing was a little bit strange for most people. I had a friend come over that didn't really know that I was doing YouTube and I didn't realize that I still had, I still had my camera on a tripod pointed right at the bed. Of course you did. <laughs> So awkward. It just looks, it looked really wrong. Yeah. So I was like, that's probably not a good idea to just like leave that there. You know. You know? If it wasn't this, she should have been on the stage on Broadway, by the way. Yes, ma'am. Your other path in life should have been that. Yeah, they don't know that I sing. She's a singer, always has been. Do you remember driving to Sun Valley and it was so hot? We had our, we had our grandfather's old car. Yeah, Sun Valley is where, because um, Larissa was really into competitive skating, so we'd go out there for like a week or so in the mm -hmm. summer sometime. Yep. And we got tickets through a friend to go and see their big ice skating show. And at the end, everybody's running around and trying to get the autographs of all of the like celebrity ice skaters. Mm -hmm. oh, and God, I couldn't yes. find anyone. And I'm just looking around and I just wanted someone to sign like my little book. Yep. And I went up to this guy and like I'm like, hey, can you sign this? Mm -hmm. And he signs it and everything and hands it back to me. He's like, hey kid, you know I'm the Zamboni driver. <laughs> and then like, I see you, like this is the thing that would always happen with us is like one of us would do something embarrassing and then you'd kind of turn and you would like see the other sister like watching, like huh? ready to just fully give you crap for it. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, uh -huh. that was really embarrassing. Yeah. She really was I the wanted, most. I wanted his autograph. She figured out how to be the most confident, even if it seemed like an awkward situation. You were always just, just confident. I wanted the Zamboni's autograph. Right? Darn it! <laughs> that was important. Oh my I gosh. know I did like that. And just a little more of this. 
Do you have mascara on? No, because I didn't know if I need to do it before lashes or not. Yeah, do mascara. Okay. I'm gonna get you a gloss. Okay. Like a really good gloss. Okay. And we're back and we have lashes on and they have changed everything. Isn't it just like <laughs> incredible how lashes just like, they just like, uh. For our final touch, we are gonna put on a little peach daiquiri from Buxom. Cause I think we need a little gloss. You need a little gloss. Mm -hmm. And it just like plumps you right up. Check that out. Nice. It's just like nice, Perfect. just a little bit of shine. I'm gonna use yep. the same one actually. Yeah, I really like it. We got ready together. We shared embarrassing stories, fun facts about the family. And thank you so much for actually getting ready on my channel. This is a big deal because Larissa is not always like, you're always game to help me out, but you're not always like, hey, bust out the camera. I'm like, let's vlog. <laughs> but thank you for being here. And doing I love it being anyway. here. Yeah. And you know, it's really funny. I get more and more comfortable being around here and being involved yes. in all this. I've always been kind of a behind the scenes person, but yes. it's neat to watch you do this and have you teach me things. Awesome. And to feel so pretty. Yay, your lashes look great. So do yours. Thanks. All right, so we're gonna go hang out before she has to fly home. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Other than that, I wish you guys a good one and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.